Hi everybody, it's Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels and we're here today at Port Orleans Riverside. We just took a boat here from Disney Springs and if you'd like to see the video we made of Disney Springs, the link is below in the description. But today, come with us as we take a tour of this beautiful moderate resort. Port Orleans Riverside is a beautiful resort in the moderate category. Themed after rural Louisiana, it offers a lot of great amenities, including a table service restaurant, a full food court, a themed main pool complete with water slide and spa, as well as several quiet pools scattered throughout the property. Standard rooms in the Magnolia Bend section of the resort feature two queen beds accommodating a total of four people. Standard rooms in the Alligator Bayou section of the resort feature two queen beds and one single Murphy bed, allowing them to accommodate up to five people. All standard rooms at Port Orleans Riverside feature double sinks in the bathrooms. In addition to the standard rooms, Port Orleans Riverside also features royal rooms in its Magnolia Bend section. These beautiful rooms are themed in honor of the Disney princesses, with Princess Tiana taking center stage. Let's take a look at an aerial view of Port Orleans Riverside in order to give you a few landmarks that we'll refer to throughout the rest of the video. This is the area where the main lobby as well as the main dining hall is located. So we'll begin our tour here and we'll walk across this bridge after touring the inside of the lobby to this area which is referred to as Old Man Island and this is the location of the main pool at Port Orleans Riverside. We'll begin by turning left at the pool and walking across this bridge in order to tour the Alligator Bayou section of the resort. Once we've finished our tour of that area, we'll walk back to the main lobby along this path, and then we'll walk back over this bridge to Old Man Island, this time turning right to walk across this bridge and begin our tour of the Magnolia Bend section of the resort. Here we are at the main entrance to the Sasagula Steamboat Company, which is the main lobby building at Port Orleans Riverside. Touches of Southern charm greet you from the minute you arrive at Port Orleans Riverside Resort. The abundance of natural light and the architectural details of this main lobby make it one of my favorite Disney resorts to visit. Just to the left of the front door are the entrances to the food court, Fulton's General Store, as well as the River Roost Lounge. The registration area to the right of the front entrance has a lot of cozy, comfortable seating and looks very much like the inside of a riverboat. These giant fans aren't just for decoration, they really work. These windows in the registration area give a great view out to the boat dock as well as the bridge leading to Old Man Island and the main pool. Now we've stepped out the doors at the back of the registration area and are looking back on the main building from the boat dock. There are a lot of fun things to do at Port Orleans Riverside, like renting a Surrey bike or heading back towards the main lobby to visit the arcade. You can also take a horse-drawn carriage ride at this resort. Back inside the main lobby, we're now going to take a quick tour of Fulton's General Store. Fulton's General Store had a great selection of items specific to Port Orleans Riverside.
Some of the decorations in the store feature Huey, Dewey, and Louie, causing a bit of a mess. Fulton's General Store also had a really great selection of magic bands, including several magic keepers to choose from. Magic keepers allow you to remove the puck from your magic band too in order to carry it on a lanyard or a keychain if you choose. Magic bandits let you customize your magic band. This isn't shaping up to be a great situation for poor Goofy. Right next to Fulton's General Store is the River Roost Lounge. You can catch Yeehaw Bob's show here several nights each week. This hallway to the right of River Roost Lounge actually features a second side entrance into the lounge. Here, you can see a view out to the boat dock as well as the bridge to Old Man Island. And at the end of the hallway, you'll find Boat Rights, which is the table service restaurant at Port Orleans Riverside. Just past boat rides, you'll find the Riverside Mill Food Court, which has a lot of great options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can also refill your resort rapid fill mug here if you're on the Disney dining plan. These cupcakes looked amazing, and they're snack credit eligible for the Disney dining plan. I particularly loved this Tiana one. We've just stepped outside the doors at the back of the Riverside Mill Food Court and are looking at the bridge that goes across to Old Man Island and the main pool. I'm told that the water wheel at the back of the Riverside Mill Food Court actually works. Now we're walking across the bridge just outside the back entrance of Riverside Mill Food Court on our way to Old Man Island to check out the main pool. We'll come back and check out the pool later. For now, we're going to go to the left of the pool on our way to check out the Alligator Bayou section of the resort.
As we turned back towards the food court, we were able to snap this beautiful picture. Steps from the pool on Old Man Island is Muddy Rivers, a great place to get refreshments when you're having fun on a hot day at the pool. This is the fishing hole where you can rent fishing equipment and spend a little time seeing what the river has to offer. At this point in our tour, we have turned left at the pool on Old Man Island, and we're walking across this bridge to begin our tour of the alligator bayou section of the resort. This resort is so beautiful that I found myself stopping to take pictures all the time. If you'd like to see the picture I was taking at this point, it's right here. Now we're approaching Alligator Bayou. Standard rooms in this section of the resort feature two queen beds as well as one Murphy bed, allowing them to sleep up to five people. Look at the interior of one of the rooms in Alligator Bayou. This is the Murphy bed when it's not folded down. And here it is when it's folded down to accommodate one person. Here's a look at one of the pools in Alligator Bayou. As you can see, it's a little quieter than the pool on Old Man Island. Now we're making our way from Alligator Bayou back to the main lobby. We're now walking back across the bridge from the main lobby to Old Man Island on our way to the Magnolia Bend section of the resort. As we make our way to Magnolia Bend, let's talk a little bit more about the pool on Old Man Island. It features a water slide as well as a jacuzzi hot tub, and there are a lot of fun games for kids to play. At this point in our tour, we have walked across the bridge to Old Man Island and turned right at the pool in order to walk across this bridge and begin our tour of the Magnolia Bend section of the resort.
Magnolia Bend is themed after southern mansions. Standard rooms feature two queen-size beds with the ability to sleep up to four people. Double sinks in the bathrooms are also a standard feature. Here we are looking across the bridge towards the boat dock and the main lobby. Here's one of the quieter pools in Magnolia Bend. You can see here in the aerial view the bridge which gives almost direct access from the parking lot to this pool in the Magnolia Bend section. Magnolia Bend also features the Royal Rooms which are themed after Disney princesses. The grounds outside the royal rooms feature several rose gardens, each dedicated to a different princess. If you're wondering who Rose Red is, she's actually Snow White's sister. The royal rooms feature two queen beds, allowing them to sleep up to four people. The headboards are actually fiber optic and feature a fireworks show. These rooms are elaborately themed, with references to various princesses found throughout. Does the shape of this faucet look familiar? I think I see a dingle hopper or two in the shower curtain. Guests in the royal rooms also get their own note from Princess Tiana. I hope you've enjoyed our tour of Port Orleans Riverside. As you can see, it's a beautiful moderate resort with a lot of great amenities. Included among those is boat transportation directly to Disney Springs. Again, I'm Ginger with Marvelous Mouse Travels. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.